Hello, awkward friends of this unholy universe, and welcome back to yet some more Monster Rancher 4. In the last part, we ended up going and pretty much just trained a little bit, went to tournament, and then got a new ranch to get two more monsters. Also, I noticed that my audio in the game was a little loud, so you couldn't hear me sometimes, which I know I've been having finicky problems with before. If you guys care to hear my voice, but that's kind of the point of this. But, um... Nonetheless, it should be a I'm hoping it'll be better this time. I, I made the audio a little bit quieter this time, so hopefully it'll work out. We'll find out, to be quite honest. But, um, pretty much what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to the shrine and we're going to get some stuff. I have random discs of musicality-ness. I need to figure out. I have, like, four. Um, so I need to figure out which ones I want to do. Uh, on me right now, I have Bruce Bernstein, uh, Born to Run. I have From the Sticks of the... Grand Illusion from Supernova, ages three and up, and of course Journey, greatest hits. I mean, I could do yeah, nah. I'll just listen to Journey. I don't really feel like doing that. I'm also gonna probably listen to these songs. Maybe Supernova. That's the weird one. Now Bruce Bernstein or Sticks. Let's you know what? Let's start with Supernova first, and then we'll figure out from there. All right. So what will it be? I am going to create. Which way am I going to do that? I am going to go from Sorcerer Stone. Yes. Alrighty. Oh, oh, open. There we go. Alright, so here we go. If you ever want to look this stuff up, well, I mean, I'm giving the names right now. Right now we're putting in Supernova, ages 3 and up. Some weird stuff, but fun. Anyways, we are going to open. Come on. There we go. Open that up. Put the disc in. Alright. Yes. Checking disc. Open disc tray. Opening. Insert. There we go. Alright. Let's put this back in here while we're waiting. Come on. I don't want to break the freaking case. There we go. Time to create a monster. Let's do this. Let's see what we're gonna make. And this time, I should stick to my guns, even if it's something I hate. I have to stick to my guns this time. It won't be my first guy, so it's not that big of a deal. What is am I gonna get from Supernova? You gotta be freaking kidding me. Well, I mean, I can't do the same guy, can I? I mean, I said I'd do random, but if it's the same freaking thing, then that's not fun. <sighs> Game. Alright, let's do sticks then. Game. Why do you have to make this so difficult? Come on. Oh, I don't want to... the disc doesn't want to come out. Come on, I don't want to. I don't want to break. Ooh, okay. Open. See, now this would be a lot easier if I didn't get the same thing. It's the same exact main breed. The only difference is it's the robot guy for the sub breed. I forgot what it's called. Yes, I have it in there. I mean, if I have to, I might just, you know, I might just go with that, but we'll have to see. I don't know. Also, it sounds like I'm probably really quiet right now or something, knowing, my, knowing me being far away from this. What a what? Disc. Don't. There we go. All right, put this back in there. Okay, so there goes that. Just keep that there. All right. What do we get? Please don't be another one of the freaking whatever it's called. I forget my guy's main reading. Axel, or it's called. Somebody's gonna have to remind me. Or I can look it up. That'd be the better way to do it, probably. Is it my book thing? Where's my book? Thing? Oh, I got it. I got a duckling. Okay, an odd monster, I'd say. Opening, oh, sorry. We're gonna look at something really quick. I don't know if it's in here. This is so not professional. It's not in here, dude. Seriously? It has different monsters, but not that one? Why does it have that one? Oh, this thing kind of spoils one of the monsters in hell. Didn't realize that before. Well, that was a waste of time. Okay, so what am I gonna name him is the question. Take this monster home with you. Yes, I will. 
I'm gonna name you... I mean, what do you name him? He's a, he's a duckling duck. He's a duck toy, technically. But then his subbreed is the Golem. Which is that giant guy that you saw, but he wasn't, like... He's, he looks... It's the intro golem that you see at the beginning of the game that you saw in part one. That's the best way to put it. Um... Okay. <laughs> Got it. On to rocks. <laughs> the return of on to rocks. Let's do this. Alright, on to rocks. If I can figure out what, how to... Okay. It's alphabetical order. I need to figure this out. Alright, on to rocks. Or on the rock. I guess it can... I guess it's just on the rock. Yes. Alright, we need... I guess we're doing Bruce Bernstein. Try different. Yes. All right. So last but not. Oh, this was already broken. Oh, I hope my dad knows. Shoot. Oh, well, some of these are old, but that's kind of sad. The case busted up. Okay. And also, the CD doesn't want to get out again. Dang it. Hold on. Don't break it. Okay. Opening tray. There we go. Just gonna casually go here. Close. Okay. Opening tray. All right. Let's just close that. Do that. All righty. Come on, close. There we go. If this doesn't work, I guess I'll use Journey if it's something I, you know. Excuse me if it's something I already technically have. I wonder if I can get every single monster unlocked in this game that you can get through disc. Because how many I have? Oh! Hi there! Shoot! Well. Remember how I was talking about Pixies and how I only like raised one? Well, it looks like I'm raising a second one. And this is actually a pure breed Pixie. It is Pixie Pixie. So, interesting. Interesting. I think, I don't remember the last time I raised a pixie, that's the problem. Oh shoot, this is gonna be bad. Well, good luck to me. Um, the pixie usually is an intelligence-based monster, so good thing I bought the book. That worked really well now that I think about it. Huh. Uh, yes, what am I gonna name you? What am I gonna name you? I need to name you. I, I, I guess... Foxy lady? I, I mean, I, I gotta. I gotta. I just gotta. Um, yes. Alright, there we go. Now we have three. Uh, so what will it be? Uh, let's go back to the ranch now. So that's that. It has, it's not ten minutes yet, so we, we're doing pretty good on time. Unlike when we had the one, the first disc didn't do what I thought it would. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got a pixie from freaking... Bruce. What? Really? I mean, I know I know it's just the data that makes the monster, but sometimes the seed. Alright. Anyways. So now we have Androx and Foxy. <laughs> oh man, I really shouldn't have named you that. I'm kinda regretting now. Can't do anything about it. Alright, so extremely fast, accurate, and intelligence is up the wazoo! Holy cow, Foxy Lady! How are you doing? The guy's just stats seem a little bit better than this guy's. Or maybe, nah. Nah, that wasn't too much of a difference. Look how bad your accuracy is horrible, man. Holy heck, dude. Wow, you have some very nice stats. Actually, hold on, I need to see your moves. Let's see their moves really quick. Um, okay, so we have no middle move, but we do have a far away, a close up. All right, so it, she can't really damage for crap. All right, um, like I said, intelligence is based more off of getting rid of guts. As you can see in the bottom right corner, it says life damage, critical hit ratio, guts damage, accuracy. 
the way that pretty much works is life damage, of course, is for the HP. Guts damage is how much damage it does to the guts, which is that low bar I was talking about. Critical hit rate is when you get a crit, how often you'll get it, and accuracy is whether how accurate the actual attack is, and it'll base that accuracy rate off of your actual accuracy, and it's just a bunch of mathematics that I don't want to get into. Um, pretty much, as you can see, um, it's just like a monster grading. It goes from E to S, E being the worst, S being the best, so guts, damage, and accuracy is in the average range, while life damage and crit is a little bit below, but that's all right. Crit rate is high on this one. Dang, and accuracy is pretty good. So if you get a crit with that, it's pretty good. Huh. So, as you can see, um, there's this little symbol. If you look at the attributes, it show, on the left side, it shows none, heart, magic, fire, ice, wind, thunder, water, earth. Um, all these, um, usually there's some that actually have a blank to it, uh, but this one actually has magic. As you can see, if you look at it back down to the bottom right, it shows critical hit rate. It, it goes up by two, accuracy goes down, and goes, goes down. Um, the special attributes is what changes that. Um, if I can find... See, as you can see, this guy right here, let me see what you got, actually. This guy right here actually has uh, none, which means nothing gets changed. See, as you can see, there's there's nothing changed. If I wanted to, I could do this, and as you can see, heart does a difference, magic, everything does a difference. My main focus usually is wind, because I like the life damage and the accuracy rate. I mean, I always focus on that. Um, I'll also sometimes focus on life, um, I mean, fire... Just in case the accuracy is already good enough, I just want to get that extra crit for it. Um, if you want really good crit, then that's what you would do is go to Thunder. Um, pretty much, that's 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 pretty much it. I never, I go with Wind and Fire the most. I don't care for anything else, to be quite honest. That's just how I am. Um, that's pretty much it for that. So now I need to do the scheduling, which is going to be the hectic part. So on the calendar, we have nothing going on right now. We will have those to deal with. If that one guy shows up, though, then we'll have to figure that out. Alright, but first off, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we need to do a train schedule. So, my main focus on this guy is probably going to be accuracy for you. I can work on power for you this one time. Yeah. And your intelligence is so high, it's ridiculous. So, I'm pretty much going to not worry about power with you for right now. Um, man, I need accuracy for you too, though. If I get your intelligence up a little bit, though, it wouldn't hurt just to get that out of the way right now. So let's do that. Uh, so pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to go to schedule. Um, for right now, we are going to do intelligence for the book. You, kind sir, need to get your accuracy way the frick up. And you, sir, need to set up. The one thing I want to show is when you actually have items, like actual materials to use, like sandbag and stuff like that, um, the, the, the tough part about it is it only goes off of what's in your actual, like, farm. So, for instance, if I said, hey, I want to do intelligence, I can't for that day because Foxy Lady, man, I should not have chosen that name. I'll get used to it. Um, she are, is already using a sandbag, so you can't use, well, you, I mean book, you can't use that book because she's using it. I mean, that's how it works. Now, if somebody's meditating, you can meditate because, of course, that doesn't involve an actual exercising or training gadget, I should say. So, that's how that is. Also, so you can see, as I was stating before, in, with these, it doesn't cost as much, you know, see? I was explaining that. I forgot that you could do it that way by just pressing circle. Um, so, sandbag, target, book. I think that is all I need to worry about. So, that being said, I think all I need to do now... Oh, my eye. Oh, my eye. Ah, that hurts. Is see how they do. 75, 84. Nice. Very nice. All right, cool. All right, how's everybody doing? You're, you're kind of... Nice. Wait, is he like... Wait, is he slapping that or is he roundhouse kicking it? I can't tell. I, I can't tell. I think he's slapping it. Still, that's an amazing way to do that. Where's... There you are. You are small. Also, are you asleep or are you reading? I can't tell. Oh, man. It's going to be so hard to raise a pixie. I don't do... Oh, this is going to be hard. Alright. You're doing pretty well. I need to feed you is what I need to do. Let's 
let's give you a potato. Um, as you can see, because I got uh, two new monsters, um, if you look at the top left again, where that green uh, circular light green dot is, there's two more because I got two more monsters. Um, that will also go up once I get the association to make me into rank D and then so on. I get more that way as well as more monsters, so... Right now I have one action for every single monster I got, unless I just want to ignore a monster for the time being. But for right now, I'm going to praise you, because you did like 87, so I find that to be good. So keep up the good work. Good job. And you... I don't really need to worry about you, do I? Uh, one thing I need to check is... Okay, that's good. Your accuracy is 55 now. Alright, alright. Your intelligence is so high up, it is ridiculous. I want to work on- I need to work on some defense in life, is what I need to work on, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I mean, you're gonna be a glass- you're gonna be a glass can. You're gonna hit hard, but you- if you get hit, you're screwed. It's just- it's just how it's gonna be. Um, one thing I need to check, though, is, um, not serious, great. Likes per- you dislike battle- You just like battle too. At least you like potatoes. He likes potatoes, but they both hate battle. Oh. Their stats are really good too. This is very disappointing. They both don't like battle. Wow, this is gonna be a difficult group. This is kind of frustrating. Um. Yeah, alright. Um, that does it for that, so let's keep on going. Um, no competition today, right? Yes. Now, am I gonna run into... I can wait then. I need to wait. Alright, let's go next week. Yes. Is it gonna happen? Is it now? Yes. John, wake up. Something's happening. Uh, morning, Ryu. What is it? What? Uh, um, change your, change those pants. What kind of pants? What was I wearing? <laughs> I don't want to know. What in the world? This one, f this one found this. This morning. Wait, this one found this this morning. This one found this, this, I guess that, maybe. Okay. Was this giant cave here before? No, I've never seen it before. But if you look at the video, you can see cracks where it was gonna appear, so. And I feel some strange power. It seems like it's beckoning. Let's take the monsters and investigate. Oh, I forgot about you. And investigate. Oh, I forgot about you. Huh. What's the cave doing here? Mm, I'll have to investigate. Explanation point. Um, excuse me, but who are you? Mm, me? Oh, I'm in charge of the investigation of these parts. Call me, uh, Mr. K. Okay. And how about you kids? Are you in charge of an investigation of this cave too? Yes, that's why we're here. I don't know if that, okay. Well, that's just splendid. But you know, I'm a bit worried for you. He like frowns and his whole mustache just like flattens just down. It's a crawling with stray monsters, you know. I have an idea. Let the adventurer Mr. K tell you the ins and outs of exploring. Finish all your preparations by the weekend. Okay, yes, yeah, so we can, but uh, that's fine. Then meet me in front of the cave this weekend. Until then gone what a strange old man but he seems like a nice guy and it might be fun to go exploring this weekend yeah so no matter what you do uh you are forced to do this so no competitions no nothing um you sir are just gonna rest i don't want to take any chance on you um And then I 
I just, your accuracy is just horrible, so we need to do that. Alright, let's do that. Uh, training and... Yeah, let's go. What? Okay. I'm sorry, I paused, but... How do... That is impossible. Oh, I think it actually shows some shaking. Like, can you see the shake? That is actually pretty cool that they did that. I, that is... I guess that's a way to balance. How's that... How's that give you life, though? I was just... I was expecting her to still be flying. No, because that makes no sense. So that does make sense. Alright. Never mind. Let's feed you. Let's give you a potato. Oh, I also need a praise. Oh, man. Well, I haven't, I haven't praised Pixie, I praised you, and she did 100%, so I'm gonna feed and praise. You want a mango? Let's give you a mango. Eat. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait, did she just grab the fruit and squish it between her hands? That's what it, that, that, that is what it looked like. I, I'm not, I'm not going crazy, right? Anyways, I'm gonna praise you. I really don't feel comfortable anymore. Alright, um... Everybody's doing f Oh... Alright. It had to be a pixie. There's nothing wrong with the pixie, it's just so weird. Cause it's freaking... Oh, the human quality to it, it just makes it so weird. Well, the weekend is here, and I assume you're fully prepared? Well then, we're off. Mr. K, the event. Why? I like how his name's still question mark. Makes you question why he's uh, just. Anyways. Let's continue. Let's continue. Also, can you still notice that his mustache, like, moves depending on his facial expression? It's weird. Alright, we are going. Yeah, everybody's pretty good. Alright. Oh, man. I kind of just want to see you two fight if you can. And just hold you back? Yeah? I kinda wanna. I think I'm gonna. Yeah. On the rocks, you. Alright. This is an interesting trio. Okay. And so it becomes another gimmick to the game. Let's start with the basics. Left analog stick movement. You can move the camera with the right analog stick. First, try going to the treasure chest ahead of you. Going ahead of the treasure... That was weird, the noise. When in front of the chest, press X to open it. Do you hear this? It's just weird. X. So, you can open chest by pressing X. It'll open up. Look, it's a nunchuck. Oh, this nunchuck is yours now. Keep it safe. Sometimes chests are hidden when you get near a suspicious location. The cursor appears. All right, and if you go this way, um, if they have special abilities, they're able to go into these things. Except you don't have a monster to search it right now. So I we don't. It does. We do not have one that has a special ability to be able to search this. So we can't do anything about it. Um, this is just a tutorial dungeon kind of thing that they're doing, so, um, everything's set, including, uh, the random encounters. There are early random encounters like this. Um, like I said, this one is actually, uh, it's supposed to happen. It's not random, because this is to show you that there are stray battles that you will get into. Um, and now, what I want to do is, uh, these are going to be ranked E right now. You will get tougher ones later on, but right now we're just going to see how they Wow, she's going to be destroying the rank E. This Alright. So weird. That was okay. That was a good fight. Alright, so that's how she fights. Oh, that's a weird victory dance. Alright, and as you can see you get experience. Um depending on who fights, um 
there will be the lead person that gets uh, the full experience, and then your other two will get experience, but it's half of what the actual experience is. So Foxy Lady got 34, so Onda Rocks and Axel only got 17, which is half of the amount. As you can see, it says experience and how much they have earned total, and then after that it says next. Once they do that, they'll level up. Leveling up, I'll get into maybe a little bit later, but pretty much how it is is once you level up, you will get new, uh, like, new, like... You'll get new attacks and then new like abilities and stuff, like it says. So, win battles, raise experience. As you level up, new skills, traits, and even items can be obtained. So, that's how that is. If you lose a battle, your experience, skills, and items remain, but you are returned to your ranch fatigued. Using exit, exploring on the square button menu is the same. When you quit exploring, your monster becomes exhausted and its lifespan is shortened. Monsters don't live forever in this game. Kitties. What? You mean it won't live as long? Nope. It's a cruel world. See the gauge on the lower left of the screen? That's the energy gauge, and it lowers over time. It's essential to exploration. It lowers each time you move, and when it reaches zero, your monster's life lowers. Watch it carefully. Does energy ever rise? No, it does not rise. While you have energy, the life of monsters that took damage during battle were gradually recovered. That's nice to know. So, run too much and our exploring will be cut short. Every floor has a staircase to the next floor. If you make it there, you can return to your ranch without taking heavy damage or go to the next floor. This is an important choice. I suggest not getting too greedy in this. I guess that's all I have to tell you. The rest of the, the cool thing is when you go to the next floor and stuff like that. Um, as far as I have to, to tell, you will not get as your monsters won't get as fatigued. And on top of that, I think you will not uh, reduce their lifespan. I'm not sure about the lifespan part. I'll have to look that up. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. If it does, it must be less than what it would be if your guys got knocked out or something like that. So also. Um, just so you know, if you press, uh, the left trigger, L2 trigger, um, it changes the map. Um, if you press R1, well, you can't do anything wrong, that right now. But if you press R2, you can actually switch, uh, who's in front, so it also, uh, that changes who would battle. I don't know if we're gonna get into another battle, but, nonetheless, if we do, then it'll be, uh, there we go! This might be random battle, I'm not sure. It'll be, uh, Duckman's turn. Let's see what he can do. He can do the bow thing, and he can throw, like, his mid-body as a boomerang. So, let's see how this goes. Oh, uh, let's see how this goes. You're timid, eh? Let's see this. And with low accuracy, that's nice, man. Let's do another one, because I, I want to be careful when I get close. Two times. I got a crit. Well... The bow thing, I think you've seen it before, his neck, like, extends really freaking high, and then he just, like, does a bob thing. Like, you know, like, those uh, bird things with the water that, like, you know, bob into the water? It's like that. It's it's a it's a duck toy thing that you, like, guys know. At least I assume you would know. I could be wrong. 52 for that. Dang, dude. Maybe I'll get a level up. That'd be nice. Alright, so that's that. Maybe I can show the bow attack later. What's in here? Oh, no, no, Jack. I usually sell these things. I don't tend to just walk in. Unless I know somebody likes it for sure. But then again, I usually don't do that anyway, so it usually works out on its own without doing the nunchuck or anything. I mean, it is more beneficial that way. Get hit. Get him? I still have hit him every time. This is it. There we go. I'm confused. Let's hit him again. If you press L1, you will switch your guy. You son of a gun. Slap him so hard. Mm. Suck. Alright. But yeah, um... That's pretty much how that is. If you press L1, you will switch uh, party members that way. So remember that. So when your guy's about to die, you can switch to your next guy so he doesn't. Oh, I got a yarn ball from that guy. Why did he have a yarn ball? I don't know. Alright, let's see what's up here. Hopefully it's not where I think it is, is it? Next floor. Alright, I want to check to see what's in that other place. We might as well look around, right? How much time? We are cutting it kind of close, but I bet. Well, if I'm paying attention to the screen more, I bet I can make it. Uh... 
Sorry, I'm looking at the time. Uh, I mean, if it goes a little bit, I bet I, I bet I can get through this pretty quick. This isn't very uh, long, so we should be fine. Okay, here's a charge chest. Now this... Okay. Toy, all right. Something to sell, so... As you can see, um, where the names are, it says On the Rock, Axel, and Toxicity. Axel's uh, blue meter is going up, which is the health like they were talking about. Um, really quick, I'm going to just go all the way over here and do this. Um, I will be showing all this stuff. I mean, it's probably at some point, I'll have... Um, I don't know how I'm going to split the parts up. Because I might make it so you guys can, if you want to watch a part, you can, but it won't be an important part. And you can just skip through it. Oh, you! I remember you. Oh, man, I don't even care. No, let's go through it. I, no, I want to go. I want to go to the Fuck, man. You, oh, man. I, you're going to be really good. I got that feeling. Jeez. I wish I got Pixie first. I was very skeptical about this, but... The only weird thing is the Pixie looks so much like a human. Which is so uncomforting. It's weird. You're not human. At all. Let's keep on going. Son of a gun. This is ridiculous. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. It's, it's done. Is it done? There we go. You. Huh. Okay, are you really gonna be that timid? You're gonna really be that timid? Knock. Okay. See, that's why you need accuracy, so you don't miss so much. And also, he was like... That, that's just so weird. You were so close, dude. Alright. I think I'm gonna focus on... Yeah, okay. So let's go... I'm gonna stick to Axel, actually, because he is my key guy. I need to get, make sure that he can get up and ranks, which means I need him to level up first. Or at least get more experience. So he can get attacks faster is really what I'm looking for. Oh, you're gonna die. Really? Did you have to get bullish? I don't think that was necessary. I, don't make me get my pixie out. Don't make me get my pixie out. I said don't make me get my pixie out. Oh my freaking bullish! Thank you! Clap him again! You good? Okay. Man, that actually is making me real mad. Okay. So, that's still not enough. Everybody actually might be able to get a freaking level up after this one. Oh, we got a beast stone! Um, the stone is actually the second way you can find monsters. Um,. For the shrine, I, oh, I can show it a little bit later if I need to at some point. Um, for... Yeah, Alright, so we are hitting... Oh, this is going to be a little bit longer than the video, but we can, we can make it through. I know we can make it through. Alright, so let's let's hurry on up. You guys will get stronger as you go through um, the area. Alright, those are special things we can't deal with. As right now. The bats don't hurt you, by the way. I guess it's just a thing they decided to add. It's kind of cool because if you think about when you're walking, um, especially with bats in real life, you don't know this. Um, it's not my ground, so like that. There's some points in time of day where it actually makes it so certain bugs are like they, it makes them go into the air and become airborne. And you might not be able to see them, but um, bats can. They can sense it. So in the morning, they will actually swoop down and eat these bugs around you. And a lot of people accidentally um, mistake that as they're actually being attacked by the bat, which is the whole fear thing of the bat. Anyways, this is the Gamba. Um, this is actually the, the yellow suede I was talking about, where that antlion was, the yellow one where I said it only had the tail and the eye. This is it. Um, I'm gonna slap you. I'm gonna slap you. Son of a picnic basket! No, no, I'm backing up. No, no, don't get bullish. Don't, don't step back. Oh, lesson one. 
you don't just stay down. Okay, um, he was a Swayzo, he's usually just yellow, but it was a Swayzo as a main breed, subbreed was hair, which is the rabbit thing. So, that was that. Every, everybody gets a level up. Alright, cool, what do we get? Obtained sweet voice, that's actually good. Obtained, there I am. Golden foot, do I? I don't have a foot attack. You learned somersault. I like how she learned something. Dang it, I wish you were my first one now. Oh well, I still have Axel. Axel is still good. Nonetheless, we did get a new attack thanks to the level up. And it's somersault. Um, I probably won't use it too much. How is it? It's very accurate, but like I said, she's not gonna be a powerful attacker. So, there's no point. Um, I will stick it in there just in case though. Yeah, um, if I wanted to, I could technically add heart, which does more guts damage. I might do that. Accuracy goes down though, but its accuracy is already so high that... You know, I'm gonna do that, because if I ever attack with it, I, I would rather do it for guts damage. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so not used to this fair amount. Increases power of moves that use charm. Oh, which I just... I get, I get it. So, that's that. Axel, hopefully you can regain your health pretty quick. Right, over here we have... Oh, I can't do that, can I? No, I can't. Shoot! Alright. I think... Does Garu learn the thing? I can't remember. I swear I could have done it. Maybe it was with Garu. Oh! Treasure chest. Totally would have not seen that one. Ugh. If you ever hear that, it is a Jack in the Chow. It's the quote-unquote mimic of this game. So, if you open stuff, there will be this guy. I forget what the main guy's name is, but pretty much you always run into these guys in the treasure chest. They are actually pretty scary. So, if you don't take them too lightly, they can be pretty dangerous. Hopefully, though. Wait. Stay. Wait. Wait. That's what I thought. Maybe I can. No, don't be timid. If you get hit, you can die. Ooh. Team up. After a certain amount of time, you get. Oh, you son of a spoiler. Stop being so timid. You're, you're still. Okay. I wanted to hit, okay. So there's Somersault. I just wanted to show it! Man! That was difficult. Um, the team up happens where there's a gauge that increases after uh, you sit with the monster for a while. When team up happens, it'll actually make it so um, the other monster in the lineup, after, after you actually hit someone when there's a team up, they'll hit after you actually nail with the first one. It's hard to explain, you'll understand. I think it gets explained later anyway, so it's nothing too big to really worry about. Um... That wasn't, a, that wasn't a bad battle. Alrighty, so... Showing things. Things are going well. I'll see in like 40 minutes. But, there we go. I'm just gonna go straight to there. This should be the end of it. Which should give you a tablet. A life tablet. Um, I don't need to explain this. It'll be explained really soon. Alright. What's this? Something strange is inside. A stone tablet. It seems very old. The writing seems to explain something. Almost like a blueprint. You're right. That's really interesting. But why do I have the feeling that I've seen this before? Really? I suppose it's nothing. Anyway, you found something real neat. This is enough exploring for now. And your tiredness goes up. So there you have it. And this is going to be a long one. And loading. And hiccups. Woo! Alright, so now the tablet should be explained, right? Look who it is! Hello. I invited myself over. Guess you were out and about. Yeah, I guess you could say that. What's that stone you got there? Let me have a look. This? I found it in the cave. Do you know anything about it? This design. These joints. It looks like a blueprint for a training gadget. What? Wait a minute. Does this mean that 
People from ages past use training gadgets too? If that's the case, then this is a real discovery. What? Could I ask you a favor, John? Could I borrow this from you? I want to try recreating the ancient training gadgets to scrap, blah, 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 blah. Sure, go right ahead. Oh, I'll go exploring again and look for more. So, yeah, you can get more training gadgets this way. Oh, excellent. I'll give you the training gadget as soon as it's done. A chance to recreate the training gadget. Blah, 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 blah. It's just amazing. I gotta get started right away. Bye, then. Polak looks so happy. I gotta go exploring again. Uh, he is, he's, he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. Bum, bum. Okay, so, today, I just want to check really quick before I end things. Okay, I'm probably going to put Foxy Lady into the next match, and then I have to focus on Axel. It's going to be the thing. Alright, so, next time we'll be starting off, and it will definitely be tournament-based next time. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm actually going to save. So, um, like always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment. If you have any questions, please ask me more. I'm happy to answer any of you questions to the best of my ability. On top of that, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more, please visit my channel, 77, and subscribe. But until next time, after it's done doing the saving and all that fun stuff, there we go. This is indeed Unholy Angle 15. John is my real name, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.